Cara Agulé, no maid, must fail her. Um, first of all, I want to extend my thoughts and prayers with a five-year-old girl who was critically injured uh, last Thursday's stabbing attack in Dublin. And also the hero school worker who was also very seriously uh, injured and is in serious condition in hospital. And I want to commend the bravery of all those who intervened in the knife attack also. Many who are new to Ireland uh, and who are representatives of the positive contribution that have been made to Ireland uh, by many of our new residents. The knife attack on children that day marks a dark new departure for the entire life of our capital city. And I also want to condemn the despicable violence, the vandalism, the hooliganism that took over the capital uh, on that evening last Thursday. The centre of our capital was in utter chaos for hours. And the lives of citizens and Gardaí were also under significant threat. The government of this country lost control of our capital with all of the damage that that entails as well. Images of anarchy were broadcast around the world, shattering Ireland's reputation and undoubtedly doing enormous damage to future investment and tourism in Ireland. And I also want to condemn the shocking examples of naked racism that appeared in social media and on our streets. Incredibly, there were calls for the murder of immigrants on social media. Um, this is a shocking indictment uh, of where we're at in this country at the moment. There is a small nexus of ethno-nationalists who are stoking up racism in our capital, a city that has a long, proud Republican history of, of equality. Um, the, the government and the Gardaí needs to get their act together. The Garda operation on the day was one of chaos, and this is not a criticism of rank-and-file Garda who stepped up to the breach uh, with incredible bravery. But I've spoken to Garda who were on duty on that day, and they have told me that many of the Garda were not mobilised into the city until 6 and 7 o'clock that day, that they had to travel to Santry to pick up body armour, vans and shields, and there wasn't enough of them, that there was pandemonium uh, in Santry in that day, and then they had to travel into the city, and because of traffic, many of them were not there till 8 o'clock that evening, when the riot was in full swing. So many of those Gardaí were then exposed and vulnerable. Some Gardaí were in groups of eight, facing up to 50 thugs uh, in that situation. And I do believe that we put, this state put those Gardaí's lives in shocking danger on that day. So right now, at the very least, we owe it that we have Minister a full investigation into the policing operation that was undertaken last Thursday. That should be a must for this government. Now, Thursday was definitely an outlier, but the trend of increased violence and mayhem in our towns and villages across Ireland has been happening for years. And instead of dealing with the issue, this Minister for Justice has allowed for garden numbers to fall for every year that she has been Minister. We have now one of the smallest per capita police forces in the whole of Europe. Guardi are being violently attacked every day in this country. Guardi are retiring and resigning in greater numbers than before. And we have a situation where Guardi joining Templemore are falling still. So as we stand today, the garden numbers are still falling in this country. Guardi are voting with their feet. They're leaving the, the, the force. And there's a direct correlation between the strength of our Garda force and the ability of the Garda to fight crime. It is becoming far more dangerous, this country. Rape and sexual assault have doubled in 10 years. Murders are up, unprovoked attacks are up. And there are thugs with multiple prosecutions who never seek custody. I put in a parliamentary question to the minister very recently, and she said there are more prisoners than prison beds in the prison system. And actually the Department of Justice is letting out prisons on temporary release to make space for new prisoners at the moment. So none of this is new. I've been raising it over and over again in this area. We have a government of chaos and disorder. The Minister for Justice has lost control of our capital to anarchy last Thursday. I believe the Minister for Justice is not doing her job, and it does not give me pleasure to say this, but I do believe that the Minister for Justice should resign. Uh, your mom,